One person is dead and an elementary school student and their driver are in the hospital following this crash involving a school van happened late today in Fayette County. Two other students are at home with minor injuries. KDK's Jennifer Barrasso is at the state police barracks in Uniontown with the latest. State police say alcohol and speed are factors in this crash. They released the name of the woman who died. She is Brenda DeWitt. She was 56. Now, state police say she was on Furnace Hill Road when she tried to pass a vehicle in front of her, went into the other lane, and hit the Connellsville school van head on. The driver of the school van, Richard Watson, suffered serious injuries. Tonight, he's at AGH. The three boys on that bus are second, third, and fifth graders. Meantime, neighbors say that's a dangerous road. This is the result of a deadly multi vehicle crash on Furnace Hill Road in Fayette County involving a school bus van from Connellsville on board three students from Dunbar Township Elementary School, according to Superintendent Dr. Joseph Bradley. The driver of this gray Jeep was killed, according to state police. Four people hospitalized. The county's EMF chief confirms the school bus driver, who is a safety officer with Dunbar Fire Department, and one of the students were flown by helicopter to trauma centers. He was trapped in the van. They had to cut him out. Two other students have minor injuries, he says, and were taken to WVU Uniontown. My mom was actually on scene, and my cousin was passed by the SUV driver that hit the van head on. Um, the woman passed him, almost hit him went to pass the Fayette Furnace van, and when she went to cut around the van is when she hit the school van head on. State police were on the scene for hours. The accident reconstruction team called in to investigate. At this point, we don't know the person killed in the crash. The daughter of the school bus driver posted on Facebook, my dad is absolutely traumatized. Please keep him in your prayers. He will be going into surgery. He is so worried about his kids. Meantime, residents call the two-lane Windy Hilly Road dangerous. This road is so dangerous, and then the speed limit, nobody adheres to it. Nobody wants to slow down. They may be okay physically, but mentally, are they going to be after that? That's horrific. It was a horrific accident. Fayette County's EMS chief tells me that Richard Watson, the school bus driver, actually radioed in the after the crash. Meantime, state police say the driver of that HVAC truck was not injured. Jennifer Barrasso, KDK News.